I am super excited to come your way again. And I, and, and I, I know that today, the message that I'm going to, uh, that I'm bringing, you are going to learn so much from the message. Why you don't need university degree to be successful? Why you don't need university degree to be successful? In my country, in Ghana, every year, a lot of students failed. Wasi. They failed. They cannot, they cannot pass to go to the university. And, and because they cannot pass mathematics, because they, they cannot pass science, because they cannot pass biology or English, we label them as well, people who are not smart. So you see that in the society, for instance, when you go and sit and write for exams, and you guys are you guys are waiting for the results, you realize that people or, or, or your, your mates in the, in the society, some people have good grades, and others will have bad grades. And when it happens like that, you realize that those who didn't have good grades. The society or the community label them as people who are not smart, who are not intelligent. So, the, 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 the appearance will tell them to go and learn a trade, go and learn uh, electronics, or become an electrician, or go and learn how to sew, or other, other, other things. Because we believe so much in schooling, we believe that if you write exams and you fail, it means you are not smart. When you fail in exams, the society thinks that you are not smart. You don't have a mind to study. And we, we, we always think that because you failed exams, you cannot be successful. We always believe in Africa, in Ghana, majority of the people believe that for you to succeed in Africa, for you to succeed in this world, you need a degree. You need to go to school and study hard and, and after school, you secure a good job to be successful. But I want to tell you something tonight, if you are watching me. I want you to understand that your success in life does not depend on a degree, a paper, a certificate. Your success in life does not depend on, 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 on somebody, on a, on an examiner somewhere who, who, pass, who will say that you've passed exams. Your success in life depends on you. You don't, you don't need a degree to be, to, to, to be successful. You don't need a master's degree or you don't need an university degree to be a millionaire or to be a billionaire. But as I said earlier on, in Africa, we believe so much in degree. In degree. We believe so much in university certificate. We believe that if you are growing uh, and, and you fail to enter the university, it means you are not smart. We believe so much that for one to succeed and become great and successful, that person needs a degree. That person needs university degree to be successful. And I want to prove to the world. I want to prove to people. If you are watching me and you think that you need a degree to succeed, you need a degree to, to be great. It is a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie. I am not, I'm, I'm not against those who have uh, qualification or those who have uh, degrees. But what I'm saying is that you don't, you don't need to, to succeed in life. You don't necessarily mean you need a degree to succeed in life. Or to become a millionaire. You don't necessarily mean you need a degree to succeed or to become a millionaire. Let's listen to me. Every child is genius. Every child is a genius. But you see, unfortunately, the genius may not be recognized by education, our educational system. Every child is a genius, but their genius, unfortunately, their genius may not be recognized by our educational system. There is genius in every child. There is genius in everybody. There is greatness in everybody. Listen to me. Listen, the witch and the wizards in your family, they don't have they don't have authority over the potential that is in you. They don't have authority over your gift. So anyone, anybody can be a celebrity. Anybody can be, can be a successful person because you have that gift, that seed, that genius in you. 
the gift in you to become somebody. You have that gift in you to, to, to succeed. It all depends on you. It all depends on you. You have that gift. The gift of God is already in you. The gift to become successful is in you. You don't need a degree. You don't need a, a paper called, called, called a degree to succeed. I'm telling you honestly. I'm telling you honestly. We have been programmed by, by the society. We have been programmed to believe that one for one to succeed, one needs, needs, needs to go to school to learn, to learn, and for, for to learn before that person can succeed. Share this video for where, wherever you are watching us from. Let me know your name. Let me know where you are watching us from. Please share this video. Listen to me. I have come to realize that in life, for you to succeed, you need to you need to do make uh, opposite what the masses are doing. Do opposite of what the masses are doing. Our educational system is not good. The educational system does not train people to be creative. The educational system trains people to, to become employees. To, to, they, they, the educational system does not train people to think. They train people to work for somebody. To work, to, to, they train people to look for a job after school. So, because 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 we have been brainwashed and we have been conditioned that you need a degree, you need a degree. Let me tell you something. Every year, over six thousand, over sixty thousand stu students graduate from our tertiary institutions in Ghana, and with this over sixty thousand people who graduate from from our institution, only ten percent secure job within their first year. What happens to the rest of the people? What happens to the others? Okay, so you see parents who are working in a job that they don't even like. They don't even like the job that they are doing in the first place. But they will train and teach their children to go to school. Go to school and acquire a certificate and, and, and to be like me and, 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 and to follow my footsteps. But you see, the parents at the end of the day, they don't even like the job that they are doing. The parents are, com the parents are complaining that their salary is not enough. Parents are complaining that uh, uh, they don't have time for their family because the, their life is, is, is being put in a cage. Work, 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 work. And at the end of the day, you are not paid the salary that you, you, you want. Listen to me. Listen to me. There, is, there are no limits to what you can accomplish except for the limits you place on your own imagination. There are no limits on to what you can accomplish. You see, let me tell you something. There are no limits on what you can accomplish except for the limitation you place on your own imagination. So if you if 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 if, if you allow society to program you, if you if you allow the system to program you that because you failed in an exam, so you are not going to be successful, it is not true. When I was growing up, I wrote so many SSC, so many SSC, because you failed in science, and 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 your mother or your parents will tell you, look at your friends, they are going to school. Why are you not going to school? Because you have failed in mathematics, so you failed in mathematics, so you are not smart, and 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 the community, they they they, they will be laughing at you because you failed mathematics, because you failed in English, because you failed in biology, you failed in biology. So, the society will label you as somebody who does not have the mind to learn. They will label you as such. And at the end of the day, there are so many people that they failed WASI. They failed exams. And, 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 and because they failed, they have not been able to overcome that challenge. Because they failed, they believe that they are not smart enough to be successful. They failed as I'm so they believe so much that they cannot become anything on this earth. But I want to I want to challenge you. You see, I have seen people every day. They keep on asking me that, Pastor, I have this gift. I'm good in sewing. I'm good in 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 in. in I meet me at today. I'm good in so so and so. But my parents are telling me that I have to go to school. I have to go to the university. It is not. It is not. It is not a bad idea for you to go to the university. 
I don't have any problem with that. It's not a bad idea for you to go to the university. But when, when, let me tell you something. When God created us, God has given us gift. Gift. God has given us gift. You go to the university and they teach you, they teach you what to do. If you write exams, if you're sitting for exams and you, you fail, they will tell you in school that you are a failure. In life, in real life, you need to fail to be successful. You need to fail so many times in real life to be successful. But at the university or at the school system, they will tell you that you need to pass all your exams. You need to, you need to get everything correct to be successful. But it is not true. So the school system is different from the real life. So I said that there is no limit or there are no limits to what you can accomplish in life. Except for the limit you place on your own imagination. If you if 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 you if you if you put an embargo on your mind that you have failed exams, so you cannot be successful. If if you allow society to tell you that you failed mathematics, you failed integrated science, or you failed biology, so because you failed biology and you are not able to go to university, so you're not you are not you cannot be successful. Then you, this thing is going to is going to be part of you for the rest of your life. But I want to challenge anybody who is watching me. I want to challenge anybody who is watching me tonight that you don't need a degree to be successful. You don't need a degree to be a millionaire or a billionaire. And I'm going to prove it to you. So, so I want to I want to break that barrier. I want to break that limitation that you've placed upon your mind. I want to open that padlock, the padlock on your mind that society have 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 placed embargo on you your parent they have placed embargo on you your 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 your, your teacher your your headmaster whatever they have placed certain kind of limitation in your mind but if you are going to 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 to, to work for the rest of your life with this limitation that you are not smart because you failed mathematics because you failed integrated science then you can never be successful listen to me our schools, okay, since there are no limit to what you can imagine, there are no limit to what you can achieve, there are no limit to what you can achieve. You see, you, you, see, you can achieve so many things. You can become anybody, you can be anybody on this earth. You can achieve anything that you set your mind on. Anything that you set your mind on on this planet, you can, you can achieve it. So that is why in the book of Genesis chapter 11, the Bible says, the people said, let us come together and let us build a city that will reach heaven so that we will make name for ourselves. And the bad thing was that they said, let us make name for ourselves. The name that they want to make was not a name that it will, it, it will glorify God, but they wanted to make name for themselves. And the God said, and God came down from heaven to see the tower that they were building. And God said, as one people, what they have decided that they will do, they can accomplish it and nothing what will stop them. You see, nothing will stop a man who has decided that he is going to accomplish something in life. Let me tell you something. Don't be brainwashed by this witchcraft, witchcraft stuff. Don't, don't think that where you are coming from, there are a lot of witchcraft in that family, so you cannot succeed. Don't think that where you are coming from because you failed mathematics, so you cannot succeed, you cannot be successful. It is not true because our school system has put a limit on what one can accomplish in life. If you failed exams, they will tell you you are not smart. Your teacher will tell you you are not smart. So sometimes in life, I have seen so many students, they, they've become drug addicts. They become street hawkers. They, they, you see people selling in traffic because they failed exams. They failed. And society has labeled them that they are not smart people. Listen to me. Albert Einstein was sent home from school as a young man with a learning disability. Einstein was arguably one of the best inventors who has ever lived. He was sent home. Albert Einstein was sent home from school because he had a learning disability. See, don't allow any teacher to define 
your child destiny. Don't believe so much in, 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 in your teacher that because your teacher said your child is not good at mathematics, so your child will fail. Never. Don't allow your any teacher to brainwash your child. Because when Einstein was sent home from school that he had a learning disability, his parents were told that he was incapable of being educated. Now, the, the, the parent refused to accept this diagnosis and eventually arranged for him to get an excellent education. Now, the parent rejected. They rejected that falsehood. Tesla was born in the 18s. When Tesla was born, the guy who invented electricity, when Tesla was born, there was so much lightning at, that, at, at the day that he was born. And the midwife said, this guy is going to be a child of darkness. And the mother said, this guy is going to be a child of light. And look at Tesla. Tesla invented electricity. Listen to me. Thomas Edison was expelled from school in the sixth, in the sixth grade. His parents were told that it would be a waste of time to spend any money educating your son because he was particularly he was not particularly smart. Edison went on to become the greatest inventor of the modern age. <laughs> Edison had a learning disability. They told Edison that you cannot learn. You have a learning disability, so you cannot learn. And Edison, the, 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 his parent, rejected that kind of talk. Listen to me. I don't know where you are watching me from. But I just want to tell you that you've, you've, you have failed so many exams. Me, for instance, during my SSC, I failed so many exams. And I wrote Winnie Basaka. I went to Winnie Basaka to, 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 to write uh, a remedia St. Francis. So many remedias. Because I was told that I was not smart. I was told that I was not smart. But today, let me tell you today, when, 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 when I, I, I recognized, when I later part recognized the gift that was in me, when I, 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 I consciously became aware of the gift that was in me. Let me tell you, today, put me in any classroom. Hmm? And I'm telling you that I, within the first five, I'll be part of the first five. You see, no, nobody, nobody on this earth, everybody is, 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 everybody, you have limited your potentials. You have limited what you can do. You have limited the ability in you, the ability to become any, anything. You have limited that ability. Let me tell you something. According to an article in Fortune, in Fortune magazine on learning disabilities in business, many president and senior executives of Fortune 500 Corporation today were diagnosed in school as being not particularly, particularly bright. But virtue of hard work, they went on to achieve great success in their industry. Listen to me. Many presidents of nations, many billionaires and millionaires that you see today, when they were in school, they were, they were told that they don't have the brain to learn. When they were in school, they were told that they are not smart, they cannot learn. But you see, they challenged the status quo. They challenged the system. You see, let me tell you something. You have been told over and over and over that you are not smart. You have accepted the script. Hmm? And you are operating within the script that society has, has, has written for you. But I just want to tell you that begin to delete that script. Begin to delete that thing that society has given you. Society are saying that you are not smart. But I want to tell you that you have that ability in you. The ability to fly a plane. The ability to become great. The ability to become a millionaire. The ability to become anything. That gift is in you. But you see, that gift is lying dormant. And you need to challenge yourself to, 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 to harness or to release that gift. Listen to me. Many parents continue to say, go to school to get a good job or to get a high paying job. Few parents would say to, 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 to their children, go to school and learn how to create 
a business or learn how to create a high paying job. Our school system has been always been training people to become managers. The school system trains people to become managers. The school system does not train people to become what? Owners of businesses. The school system does not train people to, 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 to become uh, uh, owners of businesses. The school system train people to become managers, manage what businesses. So I've realized that if you are going to succeed in Africa, then and you have a certificate, you have that mindset of I need a job to become successful, I need a job to become successful, then I am saying that you need to, 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 to delay that kind of mindset. Delay that kind of mindset. You have been told over and over that you are not smart. You have been told so many times that. Because you failed, you are not smart. But I'm telling you that don't, 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 don't put your child destiny into the hands of any teacher. Don't allow any teacher to, to, to decide the destiny of your child by telling your child that your child is not smart. I am saying that they published an article in, 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 in Fortune magazine. And that article, the article said over 500 what, uh, 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 corporate leaders were not smart in school. Over over 500 corporate leaders, when they were in school, they even dropped out from school, and they and still and 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 yet they became successful. Listen to me. Let me let me read something to you. The following are 50 people who did not finish school, but didn't let the they didn't let that thing stop them. They made it to the top. You talk about you talk about what George Washington. George Washington, president of what? United States of America. He didn't complete school, but he became president. Talk about Abraham Lincoln, president of the United States of America. He did not complete, he didn't finish school, but he became president. You talk about Harry Trump, Truman, president of the United States of America. You talk about Andrew Johnson, president of the United States of America. You talk about Benjamin Franklin, U.S. ambassador, Winston Churchill, prime minister, prime minister of England, England Joel Austin, T.D. Jakes, so many people they never finished school, but they became president. You go to Nigeria. Muhammad Dubuari was not a graduate. He was a military man. He doesn't have any certificate, but he's the president of what? He's the president of uh, uh, Nigeria. Upon we are until recently, what, he was not a graduate, but because he wanted to become president, he went to school in, 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 in America. You see, I want to challenge something in your thinking. You have been told so many things. You have been told that you cannot succeed because you, you are not smart. You have been told that there is something wrong with your mind. You have been told that, that you have learning disability. You have been told that you have, don't have certain ability to, to, to do something. But I just, want to, I just want you to reject that doctrine. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. The Bible says that as a man thinks in the heart, so is he. So this means that you, you always act on the outside based on your innermost beliefs and conviction about yourself. You will always act on outside based on your belief system, based on your innermost belief, based on what you believe, based on what you believe about yourself. So when you stand in front of the mirror, when you stand in front of the mirror, what do you see in front of the mirror? When you stand in front of the mirror and you see yourself in the mirror, what do you tell yourself? Do you tell yourself that you are good for nothing? When you stand in front of the mirror, what do you tell yourself every day? You need to see greatness inside you. You need to see that ability to succeed. You need to see, no matter, forget about a pastor telling you that there is so many witches in your family. Forget about all those things and believe that you can succeed on this earth. Listen to me. You are going to act based on what you believe in yourself. Maminka story means so. There was, there was this Okorye, Okorye, Obomophobic Quelfum. And the Onya, Ofa, Okorye Kosuya. The four Okorye Kosuya, no. The egg, the egg, and all the Kusiani beef, you told the Kusiani beef, you know. Then, all the Kusiani ma, I will call, and I will call no Ebu Bokusiano. 
Anna Cusiano, a Korean estadis, a Korean estadis, you know. Now on it, and who called Nede, a bomb yede, any. Okay, on him called Nebo Muni. So, all this one, a Korean now, now off you know, a believer say, or Yakoko. But on him say, or no, or your Korea. Always be an or just say, or feel say, or Yakoko. On him say, or your Korea. So, one day, according to say, according to Ophian, they say, according to be Nam Yima also, 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 then he saw itself say, ah, or your part of sa and no man away then, also, be then, or yes, or bona tabum, back one to me and two, or bona tabum back, and tea, or cotton never came in also, or bona tabum back bow to you know, one sign and one sign may be. Maybe you are part of that ego. But you believe what somebody told you. You believe that somebody told you many years ago that you are not smart. So you see teachers telling their students because the, 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 the student or because their student failed one subject. A teacher will tell the student that you are not smart. You don't have you don't have the head to learn. You are not smart. And as young as that young child is, the teacher will program the child mind to tell the child that you, you, you are not smart. So in the house, I've been telling my children that never say never say I can't. Never say I can't do something. Never say I can't do anything. So if my child is doing something and 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 and, and they don't know and 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 so woman to me, yeah, I always tell, 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 tell my, 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 my children, do it in this way and you're going to do it. And you see, the teachers who are teaching our children, they don't know some of these things. They don't know some of these things. They are always blaming their children. They are always conditioning their mind that they are not smart. Let me tell you something. School system will never determine whether this guy will be a millionaire or this guy will not be a millionaire. That is why... You go to school and you see your, those guys who were who were not smart in your class. After many years in school, you will see that these guys own businesses, and you who who, who, who were smart in the class, you were always on top of the class. You will see yourself lacking behind because you see that. So Robert Robert Kiyosaki said, every day you see the A student working for what the C students. Yes, because the guy who was not smart never relied on any certificate. The guy who was not smart never believed so much in any certificate. The guy who was not smart, he, 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 he was sent home from school because the parents said, you are not smart and we cannot educate you. So the parents sent him to go and learn a trade. You say, go and learn by your fita, by your at the family. Go, because they don't see that people as smart people. But let me tell you something. Look at somebody who is electrician. In Ghana, if you see somebody and you tell electrician and you say this guy is, is an electrician and, and 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 you don't respect him, wow, wow, the, the guy who is not smart. When you build your house, you call electrician who has not been to the university before to come and wire the whole house for you. And if you are not smart, how are you going to wire the whole house? When you, your car develop a fault. You go to a mechanic. The mechanic is a school dropout. When you go and see the mechanic, and the mechanic will just listen to the sound of the, of the engine, and the mechanic will tell you that the fault is from here. And you, you, you label these people as not smart people. You see somebody who is electronics, who, who repairs mobile phone, who repairs uh, uh, radio and television, and you see, look at the number of ICs on 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 on, on, uh, on one TV. So many ICs, and and one one so now when they open the television and you look at the wires in in the television, you will be shocked. But this this people can 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 detect the fault and repair your television for you. And you tell them these people are not smart. What I want to tell you is that what they are telling you in school it is not true. What they are teaching you in school, it is not true. What they are saying that these people are not, it is not true. It is not true. We have grown to believe that, that 
if you refuse to go to the university, then you are not smart. But you see, in the early 19s, or somewhere in the 18s, the school system was invented. It was the school system was invented to, to for people to work in, in, in because of in, industrial age at that time. They were invented for people to work in the industries. So it is time the world needs, needs to take a second look at the system, the school system. Now, let me tell you something. Today, one can comfortably sit in his home and just go on YouTube and just learn how to repair a mobile phone. One can sit comfortably in his home and go on YouTube and just learn how to repair a, a computer. Somebody can sit in his home with, 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 with just following tutorials on YouTube. Somebody can just learn how to repair air conditioning because I was watching a YouTube video. A guy said he was able to learn how to repair air condition, how to repair fridge on YouTube. He learned it from YouTube. So the issue of go to school, become a, 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 have a good grade and, and have a good job, it is not true. How every year about over 60,000 people in Ghana, they complete our tertiary, tertiary institutions. And within this 60,000 60, people, only 10% secure job in their first year. The rest, they become or they, they become unemployed uh, 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 graduates, and they form association, the unemployment association. And you see these people jumping from one company to the other, jumping from one always with a certificate, believing that they can be successful if they can only go for a job. Let me tell you something. Many parents, I said earlier on, continue to say. To their children go to school get a job get a high paying job and become successful few people few parents will teach will say to go their children go to school and create a job create a high paying job now interestingly thomas edison the guy who invented the bulb was a school dropout the right brothers over right and 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 Ubo right the right brothers the guys who invented airplane they were school dropout. They didn't finish high school. What was Disney? They didn't finish high school. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Dan Gote, Richard Branson. They are they, they these people are school dropout, but they've created billions, billions. You see, let me tell you something. Don't allow somebody to put a limit on yourself. Don't allow somebody to put limitation on what you can do. School will never teach you your talent. School will never teach you how to discover your talent. School will never teach you how to discover your passion. School will never teach you how to be successful. School will never teach you how to be grateful, uh, how to be creative. The school system will always teach you how to have a certificate and work for somebody. So you see university graduates, I deal with them every day. I come across so many university graduates. They come to my seminars and other things. They cannot think. They cannot think. They cannot think because, because our school system has, has limited their thinking. The question is, the question many parents or the question parents should ask is, are schools preparing my child for the real world? Ask yourself that the school system, is it preparing your child for the real world? Is the school preparing your child for the real world? I'm not saying you should not go to, go to school. But what I'm saying is that people should discover their, their gift. People should discover their talent. And let them operate within their talent. Let your child pursue his talent. So look at Ronaldinho. Uh, less Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Michael Asian, the Da Ayu, Asamojan, Didier Drogba, Mike, Michael Ballard, Sean Wright Phillips. All these guys are not university graduates. All these guys are not university graduates. But these guys are millionaires. Look at someone like Floyd Mayweather. Look at someone like Usain Bolt. 
These guys are not what university graduates. They don't have any degree. Look at in Ghana. Let me come to Ghana. Look at someone like Despite. Look at someone like Azuma Banda. Look at someone like Kesman. Look at someone like Dr. Artin Angel. Group of companies. Look at Aliko Dangote. All these guys are not university graduates. But they are successful. They have been able to discover. They discovered their talent. They discovered their area of calling. You see, let me tell you something. If you want to become a medical doctor, go to school. If you want to become an engineer, you have to go to school. If you want to become a lawyer, you have to go to school. If you want to become... What again? <laughs> I forgot it. But if you want to become an entrepreneur, you don't need a certificate to become an entrepreneur. You need to learn. You need to learn. I have, I have, I have, I have learned so many things that I didn't, I didn't, I didn't study it in the classroom. I have studied so many things <clears throat> that it was not in the classroom that I, I studied some of these things. I, I, I taught myself how I taught. I sat home and I taught myself about business. I sat home and I taught myself about this social media thing. I sat home and I taught myself how to learn about how investment. I taught myself how to to become a good motivational speaker. Because when, when I was growing up, eh, I realized that everywhere that I when I when I was growing up as a young pastor, I realized that everywhere that I would go and speak, they would say this guy can really really encourage people. And and I, I remember that one of my friends, his mother told me, you are a man of hope. You are always giving hope to people. So I didn't know my gift then. So at a later part in life, I realized that this is the calling that God has given to me. So I started learning. I started consuming. I started consuming information. I started. I, I, I decided to buy books. Buy books. And, and you come to my house every day, I'm reading. You don't see me idle, that I'm watching TV. I'm, no, it is either I am watching YouTube, a message on YouTube, or I am reading a book, or I, I am, you don't see me talking on the phone. You see me on, on Facebook, you see me on Facebook, not because I am chat, just chatting with friends, no. You see me on Facebook, I am working because you, my channel, I am always working on Facebook. I am using Facebook to, to attract people on what I am doing. What I'm saying is that challenge your thinking, challenge your ability, challenge the gift in you. You have a gift in you. There is a gift in you to become great on this earth. Don't allow any teacher to tell you that you are not smart. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Don't allow any school to tell you that you are not smart. Don't allow any teacher or any, any headmaster to tell you that your child is not smart. This cop, look at someone like DJ Swiss. This young girl, DJ Swiss, look at this girl, this lady. This le this young girl, now she has met uh, uh, all the big guys. Jack Ma, all the, because of one talent, she can DJ, she can spin very well. So don't, don't limit yourself, please. I beg you in the name of God. Don't limit your child. If your child is not good at mathematics, if your child is not good in science, if your child is not good, at, 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 at geography, it doesn't mean that your child is not smart. Maybe your child can sing. Encourage your child to sing. If your child is not good in, 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 uh, in English, it doesn't mean that your child is not smart. Maybe your child can play football. Encourage your child to play football. Why pa nempe? Seni nuya ni maiklesia. Why nempe? Seni nuya eni didi droba. One nempe wo kroma seni nyana samoja na. One nempe se seni nyana ne wo fani asamoja na. One nempe obi ape. But you see, ye ka se mi se, ye ka se mi pe ni foka se mi se. Obrin pon obi ani mo obrin pon asha se. Anybody who no obrin pon asha se no but they didn't recognize that this guy would be great guy. Samuel Oseku for he was not a graduate. His mother sold her boot, her TV to buy a boot for the guy to play football. If Oponria, if Oponria can, can can come from the ghettos in in in, in Liberia and, and 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 become the world champion in Europe 
or uh, the, the, the best footballer in the world, and and later be, be, he now he's now the president of Liberia, and you are saying that you are not smart. Let me tell you something. It doesn't take schooling to detect whether one is smart or one is not smart. I'm telling you honestly. I was not smart in school. I was not smart in school. I was, my friend, they would, I was not smart in school. But today, all my friends who were saying that I was, today I am smarter than them. Because I didn't know what I, what, what I could do at that time. So, you see, never allow any, any, any teacher to tell you that your child is not smart. I was dealing with somebody today. And, 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 and she, she told me that, Pastor, I have completed university. But, Pastor, I cannot find a job. And I told her that, I told the person that you are not smart. You are not smart because why do you have to stay home for two, three years and say that I'm looking for somebody to employ me? There, there are so many things that you can do. Begin to do something for yourself. Begin to do something for your life. Learn, go to YouTube and learn something. Learn something on YouTube you can sell. You can, you, can, you can start cooking food. Cook food and sell. And she was looking at me. And she said, I am a good cooker. I can cook. I said, Dad, that is it. Listen to me. I want you to awake, awaken your child's financial genius. I want you to awaken your child's financial genius. Number one, everybody is a genius. Every child is a genius. When you give birth to a child from zero to seven, the child is genius. But you see, from zero to seven, the child is learning. He will learn from school. He will learn from home. So if you tell your child that, well, you are not smart. You are conditioning your child. Your child believes so much in you. Your child believes so much in his or her teachers. So if the teacher catches that plan, you you are the parent. You the parent. You have to tell the child, say, it is not true. See what bomb. When I started this, uh, my today's broadcast, I said that Tesla, the guy who invented electricity, hmm? the day that Tesla was born, there was so much lightning that day, and the the, the midwife said, this guy is going to be a child of darkness. This guy is going to be a child of darkness. And the mother look, look him, the mother told the midwife that my son is going to be a child of light. My son is going to be a child of light. <clears throat> and look at Tesla. Look at Tesla. So I want you to awaken the genius in your child. Don't say that, well, see, go to school, learn hard. No, 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 no. Begin to teach your child about money. Begin to sit your child down. Let, let him read books. Not, not one plus one is two. Two plus two is ten. Two, one, two. Two, two, four. Two, three, one. Five, two, three. Massa. Don't allow your child to be... What, don't condition your child in this school system. Let your child do otherwise. Let your child condition your child to face the real world. Let your child know the things in the world. Because the real, the, the real world, you have to fail to be successful. But in school, they will tell you when you fail exams, they will tell you you are not smart. Listen, so Albert Einstein said, if you judge a fish by its ability, its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. If you judge your child because he failed mathematics, if you judge your child because he failed English. If you judge your child because he failed biology, listen to me. So in in real world, in real world, what is what is your child is going to use the biology for? If your child does not want to become a doctor, or or or, or what is, what is he going to? If your child wants to be an entrepreneur, what is he going to use biology for? We we are learning something that has little thing, ah, little influence over the future. And even now, what we are learning, you know, some of the things that we are learning does not have anything to do with our future. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Some of the things that we are learning, it has nothing to do with our future. But we are, now, but I want you to have this mindset 
that from today, you are not going to allow any teacher to determine your child's destiny. I'm saying that if your child teach your child how to braid hair let your child have a, I have this friend eh? her child is her, her child is I think 10 years old her firstborn is 10 years old and the child can sew so so the child will go to school and when she she comes she comes home from school she will go and learn this sewing and and and, and my friend the lady told me I said you are doing a wonderful thing let, let your child, let, let the child have this formal education. At least she can write, she can express herself, she can know, calculate anything. But let her perceive that dream. Let her go to that fashion, fashion because she has, she has been learning. 11 year old child, she has been learning. <coughs> she has been going <coughs> to study in every day. Maybe your child can draw. Maybe your child can draw. Your child just she can draw, just drawing. Encourage the child to draw. Don't say that I want you to be a doctor. I want you to be a lawyer. doctor for what? Don't say that I want you to be because you wanted to be a doctor and you you failed. So you want your child to be a doctor. Never allow your child because Albert Einstein said if you judge a fish hmm, that its ability to climb a tree. <laughs> The fish will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. So the fact that your child cannot speak good English, eh? Look at my Kalesian. My Kalesian free go more baby. And Emra Jose Moru Jose Morino a Tony free uh uh Olympic mass uh Leon Leon yet tonu twenty two million pounds telling so bobo. Asian. Asian is a millionaire. He's a millionaire. Only university degree. Only university degree. Stephen Napier. Only university degree. Sule Muntari. Only university degree. Asamojan does not have any degree. Look at, look at them. Look at them. Shatawale degree ban or Shatawale degree ban. Shatawale does not have any degree. Stoneboy does not have any degree, but these people are international stars. These people can 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 fill the sports stadium. These people can fill Independence Square because of what of the gift that they have and they've mastered the gift. Yeah, me catch the one what you are saying there. Emma Obin can't tell us that we won't be able to be with Yes, we always want our children to fulfill our dreams. Yes. And more being can't tell us you are not smart. But say, teacher, you better not catch yourself. What bomb? Say some that teacher didn't catch that one. Believe you because you believe so much in the teacher. It can, it can be, it can be in your head for the rest of your life because you miss what bomb. And until the age is our duty as parent. Say, I have been talking to my my children. Say, and and cassette and cassette mean to me that way. And cassette. Me teach us that me metro idea or board so into me into me into my bong. And guys say me teach us that me into me and spell it into my bong. No, no, no. Me see ya kosu on ya kosu ya niye me biya biya tiri ma niye ma na kosu ya na. Me mi kosu ya biology. I as a Greek science me see ya me ya add mass me add mass na me diya day. Just mass ni bu add mass ni bu ane me ni suchi me. Me diya day add mass me di add mass me diya day me ni suchi me. Manu suchi me biology horticulture ni yadi yako fum yadi yako fum ah everybody na kupong to do what we are always doing the theory aspect but we don't do the practical aspect we don't do the practical aspect you see we are training people every day to become uh, uh, police officers to become. Uh, Nurses. Now, even today in Ghana, so we are nursing training college, Grandpa. Now, you have to stay home for three, four years without a job. And the after that, what did what did twenty six years? When we are school, when we are school for for four years, you find a job. For three years, you find a job. All because somebody are catching and say, and so now we are successful. No, you have to look for a job. You have to look for somebody to employ you. 
But I want to tell you, sir, Sasa the Nano Cret, Sao Supercell is successful, dear. We shall be able to do a brother by it. Next time they say, Oh, yes, Sardian. That's all, yes, Sardian. Start to say, You are doing it for yourself. You are doing it. She, O Sofo bet me a Cassembi Axel. O Sofo bet me a catcher, say, Oh, to me be to a brother bosom. Now, to me, not to bosom. Said to me, the Emma only ye da. As I said, what did you was sad soft one minute? No, soft one catch that one. What the sad script on assembly so soon and out numb. You have been working with this script for a long time. I remember a lady, a lady, she's in US. A man of God told the lady that you can you are not going to marry. For you to marry, I said, me too, 15,000 Ghana cities. And I told the lady that it is not true. It is not true. Don't pay any money to the man of God. He's lying. And I, I conditioned the lady's mind. And today, as I speak, the lady is married. But the man of God told her, told her. And that thing was holding the lady. It was holding her back in life. It was holding her back in life. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm so much passionate about our children. They don't know anything. They don't know anything. And for what that thing, and for she teacher ninsa. Because teacher Nagasan, he is confused or she is confused. And the teacher didn't even program your plan and say, I'm planning your smart. No. It is time I say, who said, Nyako Pong, a boy, I said, it is time uh, we have to challenge ourselves. Yeah, Mamma Casama got you. The right brothers and Crofono Omi invented aeroplane. Unim, 1901. Now, if we are seeing you know, scientists, they met in London and they said, say, no matter object, no matter can fly in the sky. Because at that time, according to the analogy, nobody can invent aeroplane. No aeroplane, people cannot fly in the sky. There is nothing that can fly in the sky. Within, from 1901 to 1904, the Wright brothers invented aeroplane. And they were flying in the sky. These people, are, they were school dropout. I have about... About 50 names here. 50 names here. TDJs, Joel Austin, Menso Taber, uh, Ab Abraham Lincoln, Duncan Williams. All these people are school dropout. They didn't come. They are not at university. They are not university. What I want you to do tonight is that discover what you can do. Discover what you can do and begin to look for knowledge. I'm not saying that knowledge means go and sit in a classroom only to be taught. No, you can sit in your home and, 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 and begin to learn. Learn. You learn. You learn every day. Now, YouTube, for instance, it is bigger than any university on this earth. YouTube is bigger than any university. Because everything that you want, you go to YouTube, it is there. You go to YouTube, everything is there. So begin to learn. Learn every day. If you want to be a businessman, a businesswoman, learn on the business. Learn on the business. Don't say that I don't have a master's degree. I don't have social and so degree, so I cannot learn. If your child wants to be a pilot, encourage your child to be a pilot. If your child wants to be a lawyer, encourage him to go to school and be a lawyer. If your child wants to be a businessman, encourage him to be a good businessman. If your child wants to be an artist, encourage him. If your child wants to sing, encourage him. Don't allow your child and say, sir, because I want you to be this. Don't determine your child's destiny. Don't tell your child, I want you to be this. Never. Your child will never live a fulfilled life. If you try to, to, to program your child to say that uh, in, in our family, there, there, there are so many lawyers in our family. In our family, there are so many doctors. So I want you to be doctor. One funny thing I ever before Gan Han said, Say a man for obi person where a medical doctor mm? in Ghana. Then you want to go to the medical school. You go, you go, you go for the interview, and they, they will ask you, "Do how many doctors are in your family? How many doctors are in your family?" They tell you, "Do you have an uncle who, 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 is, who is who is a doctor? Do you have an auntie who is a doctor? How many doctors?" So it, it so so does it mean that if I don't have any doctor in my family, I cannot be a medical doctor? I go to Ghana. If I don't have a medical doctor in my family, I cannot be a doctor. In Ghana, go and research about what I'm telling you. They, see, they are, they are failing so many people. 
We don't have better, we don't have, we don't have enough doctors. But yet, but yet, yes, foolishness, yes. You don't have enough doctors. But yet, people ask, they want to become doctors. And you go and they will fail you. They, they will fail you. They will tell you, you don't have, you don't have uncle or father who, 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 who was a doctor. It doesn't make sense. In Ghana, we have few doctors. We have few doctors in Ghana. Because our system, our system, our system will always fail people. Listen to me. Every year, and I was, I was a victim. I was a victim. I failed in SSE. You have to go and re rewrite. You go and rewrite the SSE. You go and re remedia everyday remedia, re everyday remedia. So, 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 so because we are telling the, the children, because you failed math, you cannot go to the university, or you failed certain subject, you cannot be this. So we, we tell them to go and learn trade. Go 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 the wabon. Go to kusuya uh, de pam. Go the kusuya fit 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 ajuma. Go the kusuya construction ajuma because you fit so much bon. And, and 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 because they failed mathematics. Listen to me. The 21st century money is what entrepreneurship. Think about what you can do. Think about what you can do with your life. You can set up your own business, and at the end of the day, you can impact the world with that business. You can set up your own business, and you can have time for your family. Your children, everything you can set up your own business and become anything on this earth. Listen to me. Our children, they are the future generation. Let us discover, let us help the children to discover what they can do. Let us help the children. Let us guide them to, to discover what they can do. And let us encourage them. Let us encourage them. Yeah, me see, when I finish, when I when I finish here, go on YouTube and search for American Got Talent. The guy who won last year, 2019, Cordy Lee. is an autistic child. He is blind. But look at the way the mother supported this child. Autistic child. This guy, she, he is so he's so fantastic. I, I love this guy. He's so fantastic. This guy can sink and heaven will come. This guy can sink. And and and, and you see. He's an autistic child. But the parents, the, the mother, single parent, the mother encouraged the boy. The mother, the mother didn't say that you are, you are an autistic child. So I have relegated you. You are an autistic child because you are not smart. You cannot, you cannot see. So I have relegated you. And this guy, even those who are not, the, the mother, the, the, who are not autistic, this time around, this boy is shining. And this guy is now a celebrity. What about the children who 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 who, are, who, are, who, are, who can see? They are there, but this answer. My men, I don't call any number people. The mother has been able to train her child, and this boy is now America got talent. He he won last year. Let me tell you something. Let us encourage our children. Let us encourage our children. Let us let us help them to discover what they can do. We should we should we shouldn't we shouldn't de decide their future. Let us de tell them this is what you want. I will support you. Do it. Acqu acquire all the books, all the books that the child, all the books that she he need or she needs. Buy the books for him or her, and let him begin to learn on his, his, his or her career, and he's going to be great. We should not allow somebody's opinion. Should be our reality. God has given you a gift. Look for that gift and begin to work with that gift. It is not true that you need a degree to be successful. God bless you. My name is Ekwashen. If today is your first time watching us, I want you to share this video. And I want everybody to share this video for me. Share this video for me. I want you to share this video and please like our page. And I want to thank. Uh, Gideon Hunter Royal, Benjamin Sidu, Sister Mabel, everybody, uh, Lady Pastor Akosuya Chen for watching. As I want to thank everybody for watching this program. Yesterday we had a challenge. Yesterday 
we, we, we had our uh, the, the, the MTN, we had a challenge with the MTN network. That is why the problem was cut short. So tomorrow evening, exactly seven, we, we will be we will be here. And tomorrow is Mother's Day, and I think tomorrow is Mother's Day. We are going to celebrate the the, the our, our mothers. Okay, God bless you, Benjamin. God bless Tamiba. God bless everybody. I love you all. Tomorrow we are going to be here, and please take note. Don't put pressure on your children. Don't compare the children. Mister Tamiba, every child is a gift from God, regardless if the child has this. Yes. Don't compare. One one of the mistake that you make is that. Don't compare your children. Don't compare them. Never compare your children. Allow everybody. If one is not able to do something, it doesn't mean that the other is smart, smart than the other. No. Don't ever compare them. Love them and train them. Allow, allow them to function wherever, wherever they are. Anywhere they want to function. Leave them and let them function because everybody, as Tabiba said, regardless of, of, of who they are, they have a gift and their gifts are unique. Allow them to grow their gift. God bless you. Tomorrow evening, we are here. Bye-bye.